Hi, if you have a Samsung Galaxy smartphone with a high refresh rate 120Hz display, you can enable this refresh rate counter on the screen to see when the phone is actually running at 120Hz. This is a super useful feature to see if a particular app or a game supports high refresh rate or not. For example, Need for Speed No Limits does not support high refresh rate, hence it is showing that the screen is operating at 60Hz. But certain games like Dead Trigger 2 are able to take full advantage of the Note 20 Ultra's high refresh rate screen. And you can see the display is actually running at 120Hz. Pretty awesome, right? What's up everybody, Tech Guy Charlie here. Welcome back to the channel and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable this refresh rate indicator on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Let's begin. Alright guys, I'm going to demonstrate how to unlock this hidden feature on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra but this will work on almost every Android smartphone. By the way, the list of Samsung Galaxy smartphones with high refresh rate screen is in the video description, you might want to check that out. And yes, it will also work on a 90Hz display phone like the Galaxy A32, A52 and A72. Anyways, let me show you how to do this. So drop down the notification panel and go to settings. Then scroll all the way down, then tap on about phone, then tap on software information and then repeatedly tap your build number until your phone shows this. Enter your PIN if you have a PIN code unlocked and once you do this, you will see this message developer mode has been enabled. Now go back, go back again and scroll down you will see a secret menu called developer options. Open this up and scroll down until you see show refresh rate. Show the refresh rate for the current display. And once you enable this, the phone will show you the display refresh rate in real time. And this is also useful if you want to see when the screen goes into power saving mode. So if I leave the phone like this, it defaults back to 60 hertz. But as soon as I touch the screen, it will go back to 120Hz. So this is the variable refresh rate power saving feature on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I think many Samsung phones have this feature. So there you go, it's back to 60Hz. And yes, obviously it's useful for seeing which games are actually running at 120Hz. For example, Need for Speed No Limits does not support 120Hz. That's why this thing shows the phone is running at 60Hz. Meanwhile, games like Dead Trigger 2 do actually support 120Hz refresh rate, so that's why it shows 120Hz. Now, obviously, you must leave the developer options enabled. If you switch off developer options, this thing is gonna go away. So make sure that you do not switch off developer options, otherwise the refresh rate counter will go away. Now, I know someone is going to ask, can you enable this feature on a non-high refresh rate phone? Well, yes you can. I've got the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus over here. This phone has a 60Hz display and I can enable this feature on this phone. But there is really no advantage to this because it's always gonna show 60Hz. It does not go down to 30. It just sticks to 60Hz all the time. This is because it's got a 60Hz display. Meanwhile, our Note 20 Ultra goes to 120Hz. So if I touch the screen, it's gonna go to 120Hz. Smooth. And obviously to get that 120Hz, you will need to enable 120Hz from the display settings inside motion smoothness. Make sure it is set to adaptive. That's when you're gonna get that smooth 120Hz motion smoothness. Alright, so that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Now if you do find this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Do check out the playlist. And while you're at it, do follow me on my social media accounts. I'll put all the links in the video description along with the link of the wallpaper. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.